Hey, it's Steve Barcello, Cryptozoology Museum. I'm out here with uh, PBS for filming today. Hello. Hi. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna do a little hike down stream trail. Uh, we're just kind of gonna be discussing what we didn't catch the other day, what we picked up, but unfortunately anything great. We do have the thermal scope. We got some people filming. You can see there's some character down here with a blue hat. <laughs> uh, so Bigfoot. I'm just gonna wander down here. I've had good luck in the past. Uh, I haven't been down here in a while. So we're gonna see what we get down here. Now you can see like we are getting some bugs and stuff, but nothing as noisy as it was the other day when we came through. There was a constant noise. So we're gonna hopefully get down here and here things go dead still. That'd be ideal. A nice hike either way. Yeah, and the bugs aren't too bad if the bug spray is really working. <laughs> yes, you have some uh, super, super grade bug spray, so we're feeling good about that. Watch it, these roots. Okay. These are going to do wonders for my knee. <laughs> We're getting back into it. That's good. Could you kind of narrate a little bit as we're walking? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, basically kind this... Of what she should be looking or hearing. Mm -hmm. Well, basically back in here, I'm just about to go into that. But if you look back here, see how it drops off? And we've actually got things. Now, this trail, if you take it all the way around, winds back around here. So this becomes the middle ground. And where we're going to be going down to is where the uh, river is. The same river you guys were walking on the other trail the other night. It looks pretty so. thick back there. Yep. We could definitely be hiding if you wanted to. We get some pretty crazy stuff. Actually, we use the thermal while I'm talking here. Do both. And this is a good place for you to listen, too. Yeah. See if you pick up any kind of, like, leaf litter, any disturbances. So far, very normal. Okay. You can hear though, we're still getting some bugs back here. Mm -hmm. I'm curious as we get down here if it goes quiet. You already can hear it's a lot quieter than it was the other day when yes, it was just nonstop. That's true. And that's when I, I love it. And then you see, you're looking for dark silhouettes in the background, possibly something that's moving. And obviously, we're talking a lot louder than when you would normally because we're filming. Right. You normally keep it quiet. Yeah, I feel like I'm, usually you want to kind of keep your. Uh, I got five bucks that the guy with the camera trips over a stump. <laughs> that will make great TV if you fell down. <laughs> Someday this part could be yours. You can see how it really drops down in here, though. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what you're looking for, these low spots. I just heard voices. Did you hear that? I don't hear any voices. Listen up over here. I heard voices. That could be someone on another trail. Okay, picking up a little something. Human? It sounds human, but who am I to say? This is too thick to really see anything up there. I'm losing my voice again. Yep, definitely heard something. Mm -hmm. Yep, I just heard something. A little bit of something. Yeah, then... that could be a dog in the distance there. But what mm -hmm. I heard over here was more like chatter. Could be humans. See how it's getting quiet now? I'm loving this. This is what we're looking for. I'm doing the world's worst filming on my phone here. <laughs> you know, it is pretty crazy to think about how much quieter it is today than it was the other night. But this is what you're looking for. You get that dead zone. And actually, us talking is not a bad thing because then they assume that we're not being aggressive. Because the last thing you want to do is go charging and running in. You want to just document. Yeah. We can document things. That's the best, especially if we can get some hard video of this thing from a distance. It doesn't matter what you get. There's two normal people in the woods. Unless not you get a for right. Unless you get a body. Who's gonna? You know, really? Who's gonna believe you? I mean, you know. Not looking for I mean, bodies, but if we found one. Well, I mean, the body of a dead. Bigfoot. <laughs> I wasn't looking for Jimmy Hoff or anything like that. <laughs> but that we find that too. That's another story. All right. We found Jimmy Hoffa. That would be. We take this documentary in a whole other direction. <laughs> I like. I get accused of dumping him here. 
This looks, could this be structure-esque? Is that just a it branch could be. Fallen? You know, it's, that's unique, but it's just one. It looks like the branch broke from the one up above it, see? Mm -hmm. So I'd be less than, you know, I wouldn't scream Bigfoot over that for any reason. I mean, okay. I, structures have to look really good for me. It's just like the paranormal world where someone shows me orbs. I'm kind of like, you know, a little lackluster on that. I mean, anyone that's been in photography, videography, dealt with a lot of dust orbs, <laughs> bugs don't and things like that. You know, it has to be a good one. It has to be something that, you know, if you know, if you've got it on camera, it could be dogs again. I'm picking up some dog barks for sure. What's those white things on the tree? Those mushrooms? I guess so. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna ask you what that was. I guess just a mushroom. Yeah. That's where you really start the trip. Yeah. We'll be seeing all kinds of things. You see that black stump from a burn out there? Yeah. That's the sort of thing you have to look out for. Something like that be photographed from the right angle. It could look like it's something. You know, mm -hmm. obviously it'd be stagnant. Well, it's also kind of weird that it's just that one tree. So I don't know. I mean. Yeah, well, they do burnouts here. And you know, certain ones last a little bit longer. This is going to be a little rough on my knees here. Oh, jeez. Looks like it hurts. I apologize for this terrible filming, guys, but my knees are shot from this stupid tick bite. All right. Conditions are right. It's quiet here. This is kind of what I like. I'm not picking up anything. You're hearing some noises in the distance, but mm -hmm. I can't confirm it's anything beyond dogs or possibly someone on a trail at this point. Yeah, the immediate, it sounds pretty normal so far. Picking up anything? All clear. Sounds okay from this side. But definitely less noise than I was picking up the other night, which is Oh yeah, it's much quieter. See, down here you can still see off into the distance, which I like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can see how being here in the fall or winter can be so much more advantageous, or you can see so much farther. It's a good test for this new scope, too, to see if this, how this battery holds up. This is so amazing. It actually hurts for me to hold this stupid tripod on a phone. That's how bad this arthritis crap this thing's giving me. But being able to have that tripod is so nice. I mean, all the tools that you have now, it's like you're... <laughs> oh, I'm a homeless person, I tell you. I got food, I got changes of clothes, I got snake boots, I mean, rain gear. Yeah, I heard Tent. you say snake boots earlier. I was wondering, are they just like rain boots? No, they're actually snake boots. They're actually, they go up to your calf. I've, had any, I've only just put them on to test them. I've never even worn them out here. Right now, I don't think I'd be even bend over to tie them, so. I'd never get them off, that'd be sure. I can see him asking my wife, I'll give you 20 bucks, take the damn things off. <laughs> here, this will bring you literally right up to the river here. But it is nice and quiet here. There's a few bugs in the immediate area. I mean, seriously, when we walked through here, I mean, I, I could have, like, it just sounded like you were doing, like, walking through water. And, you know, maybe it's just the water running, or maybe I just got excited, but it's just a very interesting sound. And you're like, it's just because it sounds like someone's walking through this. 
Let's set this up for a minute. I'm going to do a couple of whistles just to see if we get anything. And then we'll continue down the trail. Before you do that, let me throw some slow motion if you don't mind. Sure. Suspicious, but it's something. They're giving some shots, slow-mo of her walking down the trail. But I'm hearing movement or some noises across the water there. Let me show you guys. Now it's really thick. So for me to see anything through there, it's really tough. I'll do a couple of uh, whistle calls if we get anything. They want me to hold off until they get done with this. The shots that they're getting. Boy, it's hot out here. I soaked myself with that ranger repellent. So far, it's working pretty good. Yeah, I'm trying to listen for something in a tree biting, breaking things, dropping them. Hey, so if you real quick, just do the exact same thing with this. I was rolling in regular motion. Okay. So we'll go walk Everybody on that trail. Yeah, no, again. Yeah. <laughs> this is better than that. So we have a little bit of light now. Do another one that you didn't have it in slow mo. Doing it this way is a lot of retakes and stuff. The only good thing about that, obviously, is going to be pretty cinematic and look real good. But hopefully, when he plays it back in the background, he's busy concentrating on her.
They're filming, they're not really looking right now to knock in that direction. Not looking to really investigate as much to get B-roll. Sometimes here just to get the footage of us discussing what happened for the last four days. And of course, I'm taking advantage of it to see if we can actually catch them. If you hear losing my voice, talk to my I think I'm seeing things. Could be all the medication they've got me on. Okay, well, you guys are over there filming that. I can't say for sure, but I heard a knock back there. Distant, but I heard a knock. And then I got a response back over here now. I'm not seeing anything. Both of them weren't very close. Yeah, it's quite possible it was just something falling out of a tree. I mean, we don't know, but and it went dead quiet. You're hearing some bugs now there for a little bit. We had absolutely nothing. Was that something falling out of a tree? Or was that something thrown? Could have been some insects. Could have been some insects. Got me. That sound like it was over here somewhere, right? Yeah. Same area, the direction where I heard the, the tree knock. But if it threw it, we would have heard something going through all these leaves. Definitely heard something on this side. Let me switch back to non slim as so I'm picking up this audio. I'm just hoping to get something while we're out here. Yeah. And the timing's right. That might work similar to a knock. None of us are smart enough to bring a flashlight. <laughs> it's about to get really exciting. Blair Witch 3, the stupid people. 
I only have to outrun two of you to make it back, so. I can, you guys won't have to run very fast. I'm not going much of anywhere with this knee. <laughs> Deer, see it? Just took off over there. I'd love to get a shot of that. The keys down back away so I don't lose them. I'll be stuck here for the rest of my life. Mountain Troll. Let's see how light that was, and that was a deer. Mm -hmm. What? I scared you guys? I guess that was you stepping on it. Massive horse fly following us around here. All these mushrooms here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Pull we'll off the snack roots. If we don't see anything. Yeah, that's a lot of mushrooms. Come on, try some. <laughs> Did I say anything, mushroom? I like this trail. It's a great trail. I mean, I feel like right by the water is where you most likely see, you know, any kind of animal. So why not take some? Steve, if you were me, would you be pointing this towards the water or towards the woods? I'd be switching back and forth. Not even into the water, but across the bank, the other mm -hmm. side. And just, you know, if you hear something, it's going to be hard. You have to get used to it, to yeah. maybe flip over here. Because you can get reflections or echoes off the trees. You guys know that from just using regular microphones. Him, geez. <laughs> I'm gonna tighten my belt, I'm losing my pants. It's a pretty fresh tree down. Mm -hmm. It's all rotted. It's all splintered over there. You can see we're still right near the river. Mm -hmm. At this point, we'll start turning away from it. Just looking for any heat signatures up there. Man, I'm dripping. Yep, getting there.
touch all the roots here. Now we're in the low spot. Something like a waterfall or something over here. It would be a good place for big to hang out by a waterfall. Makes sense. A lot of times these things that we hear, they'll be here one season, not another. They're made by trees being washed in. Oh. They'll create their, you can see all the trees down back here in the water. They'll create a dam. So they're kind of seasonal. Careful going down here. Oh. That's pretty. Yeah, this is very beautiful. Regardless of if this is where Bigfoot always or not. This is where Bigfoot always brings his first date. <laughs> Looks like a place that will be a success. where the big foots turn into big feet if it's romantic enough. It's so quiet in here now, we're hearing cars back on the roads. I know, yeah. I guess it's Bigfoot pulling it up to meet us. Yes, yeah, I'm picking up very loud trucks like the other night over here. This is a beautiful trail. It's getting dark now. They say if they find us dead, nothing but the record on my phone, they'll know where we're last. Yeah, once all of our equipment dies, that's probably when we'll have a sighting. I'm gonna kill my phone, it's getting so dark. 
Actually, I'm gonna shut this off. I got some big fly trying to land on me.